SQL versus pandas, what's the difference? Well, let's start with an example. So here's a simple SQL query that selects all the rows from a table called customers. And here's how you'd accomplish the same thing in pandas. The syntax is a bit different in SQL and pandas, but the basic idea is the same. You're selecting all the rows from a table or data frame. Now, SQL or Structured Query Language is a powerful language that's specifically designed for working with data stored in relational databases. With SQL, you can write queries that will allow you to select, filter, and transform data in order to extract the information you need. SQL is widely used in industries such as finance, healthcare, and retail, and it's a must-know skill for anyone who works with data in these fields. But on the other hand, there's Pandas. Now, Pandas is a popular library for Python that provides similar functionality to SQL for working with data in a tabular format. And with Pandas, you can use Python to perform complex data manipulation tasks, including filtering, aggregation, and transforming data. Pandas is often used in conjunction with other scientific computing libraries in Python, such as NumPy and SciPy, to perform advanced data analysis tasks. So, how do SQL and Pandas compare? Well, they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. So for example, let's say you want to select only the rows where the age column is greater than 30. Here's how you do that in SQL. And here's how you'd accomplish the same thing in Pandas. As you can see, the SQL query is a bit more concise and readable thanks to the declarative nature of the language. With SQL, you specify what you want to do and the database engine figures out how to do it. This can make it easier to write and understand SQL queries, especially for complex tasks. Now, on the other hand, Pandas is an imperative language, which means that you have to specify exactly how you want to transform the data. This can make it more flexible and powerful, but it can also be difficult to understand and write. For example, here's how you calculate the mean and median of the age column in Pandas. Pandas allows you to perform complex calculations on your data, but it requires you to write more code to do so. In contrast, here's how you calculate the mean and median of the age column in SQL. SQL query is more concise and readable thanks to the built-in functionality of calculating the average and median. However, SQL is a specialized language that's specifically designed for working with data in relational databases, whereas Pandas is much more of a general purpose library that can be used for a wide range of tasks. So really that means that SQL may be better suited for working with large complex data sets that are stored in a database, while Pandas may be more suitable for smaller, simpler data sets that can be loaded into memory. Now, one key difference between SQL and Pandas is the way they handle missing or incomplete data. SQL has built-in functions for dealing with null values, whereas Pandas uses a different approach called missing data, which allows you to specify how you want to handle missing values. So in SQL, you can use the isNull and isNotNull operators to check if a value is null or not. And you can use the coalesce function to return the first non-null value in a list of values. So for example, here's how you'd use the isNull and the coalesce functions to handle null values in SQL. The isNotNull operator is used to select only the rows where the age column is not null, and the coalesce function is used to return the age value if it exists, or zero if it's null. This can be useful when you want to replace null values with the default value in order to avoid errors or inconsistencies in your data. So that's SQL. In Pandas, you can use the isNull and notNull methods to, to check if the value is missing or not. And you can use the fillNA method to replace missing values with a default value. So for example, here's how you would use the isNull, notNull, and fillNA methods to handle missing values in Panda. As, as you can see, the fillNA method is used to replace missing values in the age column with zero, and the notNull method is used to select only the rows where the age column is not null. This is similar to the SQL example, but the syntax is a bit different and more flexible because you can specify how you want to handle missing values in each column individually. So that's SQL and Pandas. Pandas is one of the many libraries for Python with a bunch of powerful features. Another one you should be aware of is NumPy, and to learn more about that, watch this video.